Well, first of all, I mean, it was it was the part, it was uh, the mother of his child who was telling me, and I was learning in real time while I'm filming. Um, and you know, I think the first thing I thought was like, I don't know if everyone's gonna believe her. Like, I have to like help her story be validated now. Um, so you know, I had to. So that's why do you think that was? Why do you? Why did you think that nobody that not nobody, but why did you think that a lot of people wouldn't believe her? I mean, we live in a culture that's you know sexist. It's it's male dominated. It's patriarchal. We live in a culture where women just aren't believed, and I witnessed it you know just firsthand. Um, through in in a lot of in a lot of really unfortunate situations that I was watching growing up, and when you <clears throat> maintain telling her story as well as telling Zach's story, were there ever any confrontations or ever ever any moments where Zach didn't want you to film or didn't want you to tell certain aspects of his story? Would he try to hide them? Um, not that I could tell. I mean, this is what's interesting. I mean, I told them early on, hey, we're going to show you a version of the film that's right before we picture lock because we want to give you a chance to, you know, tell us, hey, you know, like you're, you're, you're doing wrong by me or, you know, you're grossly misrepresenting me. Um, so that I felt like was the biggest thing that helped me get through, you know, navigating this. But as far as Zach, um, you know, I, I just sort of I asked him <laughs> on camera sometimes, like, how do you feel about the things we've been capturing um, and every time he'd say, you know, like what you get is what you get. You're getting me like, you know, like this is like, I don't, I don't need, even need to see the film before it comes out. Um, I think for him, he's really jumping off a cliff. And I think, you know, do you it, think in some ways it was a kind of a call for help for him? Like he knew that this could potentially come out and show him, show everybody else the things that he had been, I realize we're psychoanalyzing someone. No, no, this is good. I love this. This is like how I, th- I live in psychoanalysis. Uh, yeah. But I'm fascinated. It does seem to me like he knows the behavior that he's doing is wrong, but maybe he can't stop it. He doesn't know how to stop himself from doing it. And so therefore, if he allows you to depict it, allows other people to see it, that will be enough of a shock to the system that could potentially stop him here's a theory that i actually just came up with uh while you're talking about that i think um so i i i i'm pretty certain that he felt like he didn't have a lot of sense of control in his life when he was a child you know he felt trapped he felt like he had to run away he felt like he couldn't express himself he felt like all the things that he cared about nobody validated like no adults like validated enough um and i think that emotion sort of like led him to you know do things like like hurt himself like sort of like do things that sort of like you know like make some hit that trajectory of like needing to hit rock bottom and it's like people talk about this with anorexia and cutting right it's like you can't control externally at least I'm going to control like you know like this pain that I inflict upon myself and I think you know like him running you know at one point he sort of like abandons everything he abandons his family basically um and he sort of like hits rock bottom and I think you know, him doing this film might have been an act that parallels that as well. Like, I'm going to bear... Because when I finally showed him the film, this is what he said. He was like, I thought you were going to portray me way worse. Like, I'm relieved, actually. And I think it said a lot about how he felt about himself, you know, and, like, this this aspect of, like, needing to just hit rock bottom in order to maybe even get attention and, like, just feel like his, his life and his experience is validated. To feel like people wanted to help him or to feel like... Yeah, I guess maybe you're right. Maybe validated. 